Hi everyone, it's Ben Classical from Teutonic Gaming. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Usually I'm doing gaming videos. Uh, however, I'm going to be starting a programming series as well. First, we're going to be working on Java. I'm also going to be doing identical tutorials for both C++ as well as C Sharp. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing Python and PHP as well, but for now we're just going to be sticking with Java. So today, one of the most basic programs you can build in Java that isn't just outputting, you know, hello world, which is, I really think, stupid for being a first project, but that's just my opinion, um, is to reverse a string. Now, it's simple to do this in Java, as simple as it can be, really. Um, first, you just need to import java.lang.stringbuilder, which contains a few useful functions, and then if you want to just output a specific string, which I don't really know why you'd want to do that unless it's, I don't know, maybe a puzzle or something, you would system oops, dot out dot print line or print ln and then just new string builder and then the string you want, so then reverse and then dot two string. This, uh, what I do wrong here? Oops. I don't think capitalization might, might, yeah, matters on this, but it might. Okay, now this should work. I'm just gonna run it. As you can see, it outputs that. But, however, we're going to be doing something a little different. Let me just bring it on my other screen here. One sec. Now, to improve this program a bit, we can make it so that instead of just having a specific string, make it so we have user input and then reverse what the user has to say. Now, I don't really know why you do this, but who knows. So next we're going to import java.util.scanner and this also contains a few useful functions. We are going to just we'll first delete this. And then we're just going to put that down there. And we are going to create scanner in equals new scanner system oops, dot in. Now, this will allow us to use the in variable to utilize some of the functions that are included in this library. If that is the correct terminology, correct me if I'm wrong. So now what we can do is we can output a nice little message saying, you know, oops, please enter a string, and over here and that, and then we can just string equals in dot next, uh, yeah, next line, and then, why is that not working? I know why. Okay. And then we can just output this into here. Enter in the same thing we did before. New string builder. But instead of putting the string in here, we just put the variable, which makes sense. Dot reverse dot to string. Now this should well let's run it. Um, I'll enter in my username, bin kill dash ethical. And this should output it backwards. And see, there you go. I'm just gonna improve this a bit and make it so it says and this should work. So we enter in bin cool ethical. And your reverse string is there. So this is going to be basically what these videos are going to be. It's not gonna drag on for you know twenty-five minutes explaining how to print out a messages and you know what a letter is this is they're just going to be short and simple tutorials this one is a bit longer because it is an introduction to what I'm going to be doing 
but this will be as long as they are. I'm not going to say anything stupid like, you know, leave your suggestions in the comments below, which I have done in other videos, but after hearing it in other videos, I've realized that it's annoying. So, yeah, if you do enjoy this video, then leave a like. Bye.